Hi, Juliet. So you were asking about, um, I think the lateral flexion exercise. Hopefully you can see me pretty well here. I'm gonna get down on my knees here so that you can see my um, upper body a little bit better. But you could do this standing or kneeling, doesn't matter, I think a whole lot. Um, you're gonna have your resistance band coming from not too high, so shoulder height or waist height is fine. It's a little high for me here. Um, and the one that you're asking about is this. So that would be elbow up, not shoulder up, right? Shoulder stays relaxed. Gentle reach out through the elbow. Ribs, you're gonna unfurl this side of your rib cage. You're gonna try to get it to open out a little bit to begin with. And then elbow is high, shoulder is low. You're gonna begin by reaching through the elbow and pulling with the hand. And then you're gonna allow for some lateral flexion. So as you come over, you're again, you're trying to make sure that there's not this feeling of the ribs crossing. So you might have to think of lengthening up, getting tall, reaching out, continuing to reach, lengthening up as you fold over, opening the backside of the right rib cage, and then gentle resistance back. So this is just lateral flexion, opening this side, using this side try and keep the ribs open at the back, shoulder relaxed. I think we also did a rotation. So that would be just holding the pelvis facing forward, opening the backside of the ribcage the best that you can without, you know, dumping the shoulder. And then you could just do static rotation. That would just be this, or you could add arm movement and rotation, either one is fine. But again, you just wanna make sure that you're rotating your upper body away from your lower body and you're getting some movement in the rib cage area because that's really what, what those exercises were all about is kind of moving this, opening some of this up and strengthening some of that. You would do both sides for sure.